Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, You are blessed. Tell your neighbor, You are blessed. Tell your neighbor, You are highly favored. Tell your neighbor, The oil of grace upon your life will never run dry. Put your hand together as you take your seat. We're still in our winning months. Last week, we have a tremendous testimony about the message winning over destructive attitude. The testimony that comes with it is so much overwhelming and it keeps coming every day. So we thank God that this message is reaching far and near. People from Europe, America, Asia, they are all testifying. And if you are just watching us, share the message right now. Invite your friend and loved one. And those of you also share it. Invite somebody to join us online. As we are still observing protocols. And still keep minimum people in the church every Sunday. So you can join us online. Invite your friend. Invite your loved ones. Hallelujah. Amen somebody. Today we are going to talk about another powerful message which I've been praying about since last week. And this message is a message that will change your life. It's a message that will change your situation. It's a message that will change your circumstances. After today, things will no longer be the same in your life. Everything that has not been going well in your life will receive divine turn around today. If you believe in shout a better amen. amen. If you trust God about it, shout on come on amen. amen. I'm talking about winning over demonic judgments. Winning over demonic judgments winning over demonic judgments many lives are roaming about thinking they are free and they are on, on their own not knowing that their case has been judged before they even leave many has been judged before they are born this morning we're going to dig, dig into spiritual things Many destiny has been determined, predestined to go through certain judgment that have been placed upon them before they were even born, long before they were born. Some are positive, some are negative. Many lives has been predicted before they were born. The life of Jesus Christ was way predicted and this purpose he shall be a deliverer of my people. He shall redeem my people. His life has been judged. Declared to go and do good things in life. That's very fantastic. But there are some lives too. Who are to inherit pronounced judgment. Even from God. Negative judgment. Example is Nehemiah in the Isaiah 39 there about. The case where he was sick and he seek the face of the Lord that I should not die. And when he recovered from his sickness, he invited this enemy of God. They saw everything in the house. Isaiah chapter 59, sorry, Isaiah 59, ah, 39 there about, Isaiah 39. They saw everything in the house of God. God said to Ezekiah that everything they have seen in your house and in the temple of God in the palaces I will cause enemy to come and carry them away and the child which because of it you don't want to die now that you are going to give back to they shall become Enoch in the house of their enemy in the palaces of the enemy judgment has been pronounced upon the unborn child some judgment can be positive and it can be negative 
and this morning we want to deal with the issue of negative judgment that is in operation in your life and i want you to take this message seriously because sometimes it is not your fault that you are the way you are it is because of what is operating over your head what is operating over your life some people are walking in demonic curses in their generation some are suffering from their father's behavior that have been pronounced on them hallelujah and there are people they have a particular trait in their family somebody was talking to me that uh, the father went and uh, the father he knows a man who's the father has joined the Malik group but there's something that normally happens to them in the family that anytime they get to 40 they must become poor no matter what no matter their height to the extent that somebody who has built a house for the mother build a house for people who has a lot of things at 40 he lost everything and he couldn't feed himself two times a day as a result of what is operating the judgment that is not operating over their head before i go ahead i want you to sit down very well and pray that if there is any demonic judgment that is still active in your life when we become gone again and we understand spiritual things god help us to deliver us from them but per adventure there are still other ones that are still active in your life this morning is a morning of cancellation of demonic judgment that is still in operation over our life i want you to pray very well as you are sitting down sit very well and pray the father if there is any demonic judgment that is still active over my life let your power destroy it this morning in the name of jesus christ open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray lift up your voice and 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 pray Matalabu, Zikilia, Libra, Kandirebo, Leprokoto, Kiliandaraba, Lebro, Sanderebo, Likatayaba. We cancel every demonic judgment that is in active, that is still active over our life. We bind it by the power of the Lord. We destroy it through the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. We break the yoke by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we have prayed let's start with the definition of judgment there are diverse judgment even in the world judgment could be an opinion formed by judging others or judging something opinion number one is an opinion formed by judging something people form their opinion over anything everything people places people have their own judgment if you put 10 people down and you ask them to define something they will have different judgment over that thing so that is their judgment and you are not living in isolation you are living in people with people you are not living in desert you are living with people so you are bound to encounter people different people with different judgment about you but may their judgment over you not be demonic Come on, if you believe it, shout it, don't just say amen. You can be robbed of the glorious things if the judgment over your life is demonic. People have suffered what they don't know about. People have been lied about. People have been judged wrongly. People have been, have, have been, have been bastardized. That is why the Bible said, it says, And any tongue that shall rise against thee, thou shalt condemn the book of isaiah he was telling people no weapon formed against you shall prosper but any tongue that shall rise against you in judgment thou shalt condemn so you must be condemning every tongue that is judging you wrongly because it can stop your progress it can stop your joy it can make you go they can turn the joy journey of 40 days into 40 years into your hand if care is not taken by evil judgments one day of success can turn to 100 years of suffering if you don't wage war against demonic judgment over your life another definition of judgment 
is the cognitive cognitive process of reaching a decision or drawing conclusion cognitive process of reaching a decision or drawing conclusion what process did they get through in reaching that judgment in concluding that i am like this i am like that what cognitive process do you go through i'm going to be explaining it in details but i'm just giving you a different form of judgment and in judgment we also have in the law court what is called judgment of dismissal judgment of dismissal this is a kind of judgment disposing of the matter without trial you know sometimes you take a case to the courts without even trial they say they lack merits and they just cancel the case without trial have you ever been in a situation where you have a good cause to explain yourself and you are not allowed to explain yourself and judgment is just being passed over you even not in the court alone in the family setting you are someone to your in-law that you have done something and they did not give you opportunity to explain yourself they just judge the matter somebody said you have done something they did not it is what the judgment of dismissal they just dismiss the case and this judgment also can be spiritual go what bible say and the accuser of the brethren sometimes when satan go to the lord and accuse us before the lord god do what is called judgment of dismissal because of the blood of jesus and because the price that christ has paid and god just dismiss the case before listen to them every case kalabo sandiria kataya that satan the accuser has been accusing you before God seeking negative judgment over your life and he has taken it to God over you oh makili and Baba. for the Bible said the accuser of the brethren who accused them day and night before the Lord I speak by the power and the authority of God let the case be dismissed this morning every of your case that is standing trial before demolic agent or demolic judge I speak by the power and the authority of God. Let that case be dismissed by heaven this morning. Let the case be dismissed this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have what is called judicial judgment. Or a judicial decision. It's a form of judgment. And this one is being... Judicial decision is a determination by a court of competent jurisdiction on matters submitted to it you take a matter to the court you have a lawyer another person bring a lawyer plaintiff and defendants they go to court and defend themselves and the judge based on the case that is being presented before him make a judicial decision that is another form of judgment judicial decision but in our case we have the holy spirit the bible says is the paracletus our advocate our lawyer who argue out our case before the lord why we cannot be destroyed why we cannot be condemned why we cannot be chastised why enemy cannot win over us hallelujah come and give a shout to the holy spirit for this work in our life come and shout hallelujah and the last judgment i'm looking which is the fifth one is the demolishing condemnation that is passed over someone family or generation such as curses and evil pronunciation that is the demonic judgment that is being passed over someone's life over places you know sometimes they say some town has been cursed some family has been judged demonic judge they have been cursed there has been evil pronunciation placed upon the family that, and people are suffering in that family because they are under some evil judgment demonic judgment generation upon generation you they see tra traces what happened to their grandfather is happened to their grand their father it's happened to them it's happened to their children right in their eyes so these are the demonic condemnation that is passed over someone family or generation such as curses and evil pronunciation that's why the god said in the book of romans he said now there is no condemnation 
now there is no more condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus Christ because God knows that some people have been condemned like a condemned prisoner hallelujah somebody so we need to be careful so I'm going to lay emphasis on three form of judgment number one judgment which is an opinion formed by something the number one definition of the judgment which I said I, I've talked about five different form of judgment but I'm laying emphasis on three number one which is the judgment that is an opinion formed by judging something listen to this very carefully some people are suffering today because of an opinion that has been wrongly formed towards them wrongly formed towards them e.g for instance people judge other by their color by their tribe by their height by their weight even by education by their status nationality profession gender and temperament i said this is an opinion formed by judging something and some people are a victim today they are suffering today because of the opinion because they are they have been wrongly formed about them hallelujah if you are white there's a way they see you if you are black there's a way some people see you if you are arab with once you are an arab some people are judging you already terrorists black thieves arm robber criminals white racist your color alone people have formed an opinion about it and some people will suffer hardship and pain because of this it is a demonic judgment some has been judged by their tribe by their tribe i'm not even talking about national this time around no. i'm not talking about people that come from the same state even people that come from the same local government they say this tribe don't go near them that tribe don't go near them and even if a wonderful person come out of it and maybe seeking hand in marriage they say because he belongs to that tribe the person must not because he belongs to that that you must not give him the job he will rob you they are chief they are criminal in that lineage they are like that some people have been judged by their height if you are tall they call you a girl too tall that's why you don't have brain if you are short they say short man devil it's not where you belong to even your height is a problem people judge you that don't you know short people how they think i'm sure short people have suffered so many things because people pass anything they are stubborn they will tell you short people are stubborn who arrive at that decision who arrive at that conclusion you see it's a judgment that is being formed by judging something judgment has been formed in their mind if you are short you are this stubborn don't you know short people they are arrogant they are proud if you are taught to it's a problem too tall they form a judgment over you they miss somebody your weight is something if you are too big then they tell you oh, below you are like this you are like that you are like that don't you know fat people they have low self-esteem who told you fat people have low self-esteem if they see slim people too they say that ah they are suffering the husband can't take care of her look at how he has become hiv eight patient when you are slim is a problem when you are big or you put on weight you are fat it's a problem people judge you by your weight if you are uneducated somebody tell me and he say uh, my husband is behaving like that because he's an illiterate if you are to be literate, his reason will have been better. He will have been seeing things. So if you are uneducated, you are a people who have formed opinion that your behavior is being informed by you not having formal education. They've forgotten that all education are not you know acquired in the classroom. Our forefathers are very educated, even though they haven't been in the former class. Education is an ability to use your total self. 
not ability to read ABC alone how to use your total sense the senses God has given to you and if you are too educated have you not seen many people like I said much education is trouble them when you say that when you see a lady that is very educated you say don't go near them all these Akada girls they can be very stubborn they can be very proud they don't respect their husband somebody judge you because you are educated you have privilege to go to school you have phd you have professorship and because of that you can't get husband people can't near you when you go for your family say don't tell them doctor us like that because you are educated the first thing they attack you is your education because you have a privilege to have been in a former school and acquire some certificates it formed judgment towards you kalabu sandara bababa you can see demonic judgment how people have suffered over it your status in the society if you are rich they say you are oppressing them if you are poor they say you are the hooligans of the area your nationality I need not to say much about that people racism is not only in Europe in racism is in Africa too racism is in West Africa this Nigerian this Ghanaian this Togolese this French this English speaking people have been to have lived shortly in French country they discriminate against the English speaking country and the English speaking country sees French as backward people they there is a racism towards each other once you can't speak French is a problem once you can't speak English in the English speaking country it's a problem people form their judgment about you somebody will come in know that when you are dealing with French there is a certain way they think and they too will tell you that when you are dealing with English people there is a certain way they think we judge each other we just conclude without giving fair trial to anybody it's a demonic judgment and any judgment that you have suffered as a result of this may the Lord cancel it today may the Jehovah cancel it today your profession your gender your gender God we pray for God to give you a child you have a baby girl as your first child and they tell you judgment is being passed as if they are not human being you give back to you don't have men don't have boy in the family is a problem if you don't have girls too it's a problem this gender discrimination is what is all over the world it's not a matter of Africa alone. It's a worldwide issue that is still ongoing on in this 21st century. The gender cases. Look at what happened when a woman was selected as a vice president, vice presidential candidate of a political party in this nation. You see the kind of bashing that she went through because she's a woman. A professor for that matter. I need not to go into political issue but just to tell you that example of gender judgments that has been passed on people hallelujah and temperament as well you know the issue of temperament sometimes they will tell you you are sanguine you are uh, 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 sanguine melancholy uh, uh, phlegmatic and uh, it's for choleric somebody will just see you that say ah you look like you are you, you, the way i'm looking at you you'll be a choleric person and this is how they think this is how they behave this is how they behave yes you may have the traits of it but you cannot have you know total confidence that this is how this person will be give them trial fair trial deal with them before you judge them hallelujah tell your neighbor deal with me before you judge me I may look like a sanguine, I may look like a phlegmatic person, I may look like choleric, I may look like a sanguine, you know? but give me opportunity to prove myself before you judge me. Don't pass demonic judgment on me on what you think I should be. 
people just look at people and there's some people they are so their focus is based on your temperament that they are so sure that this is how you will be that's why the bible warns us not to be a victim of his so-called philosophy in Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 let's go on because of our time that's number one i'm not talking about the second one the cognitive process of reaching a decision or drawing a conclusion cognitive process some have undergo a process to be able to pass judgment on people this cognitive process you see let me tell you what wikipedia said how it described cognition 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 is referred to as a mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through experience and senses cognitive process are analyzed from different perspectives within different contexts notably in the field of neuroscience psychiatry systemic logic and etc that is cognitive or cognition they use a typical example of to drive the conclusion like neuroscience uh, psychiatry systemic there are people who are very expert logic to determine that you must be like this you must be like that but you will get it better example i have two examples for you about the cognitive process of reaching a decision or drawing conclusion it's a bit technical but you will understand what i'm talking about as i go on an example of this cognitive process is an impulse reaction towards black in america i told you that cognition is to the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding true thoughts experience and senses and i say it's being drawn by neuroscience uh, psychiatry systemic logic and all that and, and they give you an example that impulse when you see you see what has been going on in america and uh, that spark up that uh, uh, black lives matter you have witnessed what happened in the world in this year and how a lot of people have come out it's because of this impulsive reaction towards black in america and in europe and dr martin luther king in 1963 precisely 28 august 1963 said he said look at and i quote him i have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character the popular quote i have a dream but dr luther martin king jr in 28 august 1963 let me say it again he said i have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character because we immediately they see you that you are black there is an impulse reaction judgment that pass on you hey criminals come to our neighborhood hey arm robbers come to our neighborhood hey thugs has come to our neighborhood and that's how they treat people with color color people have suffered a lot especially black the same thing when you see an arab man that walk here with long beard and everything what goes in your mind first hey taliban has come Boko Haram has appeared you all the color people have suffered the impulse reaction towards color people in america and in europe is an example of the cognitive process how did they derive that they use this to think that black things this way black things this way once you are black cloud there's a potential of this they use all kind of these sciences to drive and the systematic way to derive their conclusion and place judgment on color people amen somebody and that's the typical example of it black are the prime suspect of any criminal activities and an example is judge flood case judge flood case that turned things around be 
because it was black it was suspected that 20 dollar that he came to use to buy money in the supermarket was a fake dollar and the guy called police on him and when the police come they did not check the money they did not check anything the best thing is to put a nail on his neck and suffocate him to death and that's what sparked black lives matter campaign all over the world because the guy thought that is a black that you have spent fake money so you are capable of doing it they just lock out everybody at the same thing put everybody in the same shoe once you are black you're a potential criminal once you're a color person you are an arab you're a potential uh, 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 suicide bomber once you're an arab you're a potential terrorist once you are black you are a potential criminal once you are arab you are a potential what terrorist they have that cognition which they have used neuroscience psychiatry systemic logic to drive their conclusion about the people and this is not only limited to the black alone i'll give an example of thomas edison some of the Edison teacher told him he was too stupid to learn anything. Teachers, no one know that he was too stupid to learn anything. The great Thomas Edison, that's what his teacher told him. But he later had more than 1,000 patents and invented some world changing devices like electric lamp, movie camera, like electric lamp, like this. The movie camera somebody that he was too stupid to learn anything all his teachers told him too stupid to learn anything so you can see the cognitive process of reaching a decision or drawing conclusion they must have tested him by system by logic by science by all kinds of thing psychiatry and said that oh this boy is dumb 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 Recently, I get involved with the school of the deaf. I say it is an insult to tell, describe them as dumb and deaf. You say the fact that they are deaf does not mean they are dumb. Dumb has to do with your psych psyche. It has to do with your mental. So you can be deaf, but you are not dumb. So don't see every deaf person as a dumb person. It's a great insult. It's a great insult. The deaf culture does not allow anybody to call them dumb. But judgments as usual. People just see people. Once you can't speak, then you are deaf and dumb. Judgment. I want you to sit down and say, Father, every demonic judgment that I have suffered as a result of evil judgment, destroy it today. Anything I have suffered in my life as a result of demonic judgment, Father, destroy it today. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Many have suffered demonic judgment. Many have suffered great things. Every suffering, anything I have suffered in life, and I'm still suffering as a result of my color, as a result of my tribe, as a result of my height, my education, as a result of anything I am, oh Lord. Father, destroy it. Demonic judgment over my life. Demonic judgment over my career, over my marital life, over my finances, over my business, over the great opportunity. Father, destroy it today. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The number three, demonic judgment that I want to lay emphasis on. The enemy do pass judgment on people. I told you I'm going to analyze three from those three, one, uh, from the demonic judgments cognitive and opinion being formed by people but on demonic judgment is the enemy do pass judgment on people and this can be terrible for the victim when they pass judgment on you they sit in their coving and they pass judgment they sit in their coving and they decree this life will not make it if we're told of a story of a man who was a very good fashion designer he has everything going well for him and all of a sudden he became very poor 
and he could not sustain the city life anymore. He decided to move back to his hometown and he went there quietly. As he went there quietly, he was lying in his father's house. It was a story building and with wood story building, wooden story building. And when that happened, he he had conversation going up and in that conversation his stepmother and his and a friend they were talking and he said how is your stepson how is he doing in lagos he said what do you expect from him how do you expect him to do well how do you expect him to do well have you forgotten we have taken him to the coven and they have passed judgment on him that he will be poor forever? So there are demonic judgments that is being passed upon people that you will just be walking like elephants or you'll be eating like a cockroach. No matter what you do, no matter what happened in your life, no matter what happened in your destiny, no matter how brilliant, how hard you are, if you are operating under demonic judgment, there are certain things that you suffer in life. But today, God will cancel those judgments. The Holy Ghost will cancel those judgments. The enemy do pass judgment on people, and this can be terrible for their victim. They pronounce judgment and enforce it upon their victim. However, God did not want anyone to suffer from any demonic judgment. And it does says, Isaiah chapter 7 verse 7. The Bible said, Thus said the Lord, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. What do you imagine against the Lord? What did the enemy imagine against you? What is the judgment that has been passed upon your life? The Bible says, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. I want you to rise on your feet and pray. The Father, according to your word in my life. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7. You said it will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. Lord, I decree today that no judgment, demolish judgment that have been passed upon my life will stand. Neither shall it come to pass. In the name of Jesus, talk to God. 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 Talk to God that the money judgment will not stand in your life, in your life, in your life, in Jesus. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Connect the camera live. Get it, try that to connect it. Get extension him. Talk to God. 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 That it will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. It will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. It will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. Demolish judgment over your life. Will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. Demolish judgment over your life. Will not stand. God frown at this. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. God frowned at judging other things that are in process. You can take your seat. God frowned at judging things that are in process. Your life is in process. Why did they judge you? Don't judge me today. Judge me by what will happen in my life tomorrow. I'm still a work in progress. Why do you judge me? Why do you think that is how it's going to end with me? Why do you think that's how my life is going to end? God did not want anyone to be judged in process. He frowned at judging things in process. That's why you can't look at people and condemn them. That's why you can't look at people and just pronounce judgment on them. You never know what they will be tomorrow. You never know how life will turn around for them. You never know how their situation will be. You can't just place judgment on people. You can't just place judgment on people. Hallelujah. 
God frowned at it. And when you look at the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 5. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 5. Can you give me the scripture? 1 Corinthians chapter 4. God, you can see that God did not want anyone to judge you. And if they have judged you, I pray for you. You will win over their judgment. You will win over their judgment. You will win over their judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 5. Therefore, don't judge anything prematurely. <laughs> don't judge anything prematurely. It is too early to judge that this is how my life is going to be forever. It is too early to judge that somebody is too stupid to learn anything. As the title Thomas Edison. His teacher told him that you are too stupid to learn anything. And the person went ahead to have over 1,000 patents on his name. He invented some of the life-changing things. Thanks to the stupid man. is the one who made the candescent bulb we are using. The electric bulb we are using today. The movie camera we are using today is the stupid man. Somebody that is too stupid to learn anything. So you can see that if that one has not taken care of himself, that is how his life will have been eroded. Many people have gone ahead commit suicide because of the judgment. Many people are paralyzed with fear because of what some people have judged them. Many people cannot even put themselves together anymore because of judgment that have been placed upon their life. I cancel that judgment today. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Go frown at it. Say judge nothing before the time. And a typical example is found in John chapter 1, verse 43 to 39. I'm bringing my message to an end. Just, just quickly follow up. John chapter 1, verse 43 to 49. Give me the scripture. I want everybody to see. Example of demonic judgment. Judging things without giving it trial. Fair trial. Oh my God. I pray for somebody that will are watching me. Somebody you are in prison. Somebody you are in cell. Somebody you are the other side of life. Because somebody has placed a wrong judgment over your life. You have been judged before giving trial. Your judgment is not a fair trial. You are languishing in prison. You are languishing in cell. Because somebody has placed wrong judgment upon you. I pray that God, who is the judge of all cases, to judge your case today. Every injustice that has been meted towards you. Let God judge your case today. Let God judge your case today. Let God judge your case today. Let God intervene in your case. Let God intervene in your situation. Let God intervene concerning you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is coming out of prison. You are coming out of the cell. God will turn around that judgment over your life. That demonic judgment that are making you suffer in prison. God will turn it around today. It's not every prisoner that has that guilty. It's not everybody languishing in prison that are guilty. It's because of demonic judgment that have been passed upon somebody. I see God overturning it today. I see God overturning it today. Let the spirit of God go over the prison worldwide and set the victim free in the name of Jesus. Intervene in their case, oh Lord. Intervene in their case, oh Lord. Intervene in their case, oh Lord. Intervene in their case, O Lord. Intervene in their case, O Lord. Intervene in their case, O Lord. Those who are suffering in prison and they have been condemned wrongfully, let the power of the Holy Ghost begin to turn around the things, begin to turn around the situation, begin to turn around the situation, begin to turn around the situation. Around the situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have seen many cases like that. 
A man was at the scene because he was a black man. And a scene of a crime. And they point to him. The person that committed the crime was a white man. But they ran away. But because the black man was passing, and they said he's the black man, and they sentenced him to life imprisonment for the murder. He has been in prison for over almost 30 years. I can't remember precisely, but between 20 and 30 years, he has suffered so much on something he did not know anything about. But one day, God did not let the person who committed the crime have peace. After many years that the man has been languishing in prison, then he went and confessed that he's the one that did the crime. And the man was set free. Oh my God. Every demonic lie that is making you suffering today, that is making you go through the pain today, that is making you go through the crisis you are going through today, may God overturn it today. 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 May the Holy Ghost overturn it today. May Jehovah overturn it today. May the God Almighty overturn it today. May the air shadow overturn it today. May the God of justice overturn it today. May the God of justice overturn it today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. I pray for winning over that case. The power to win. The grace to win. The anointing to win over that situation. Receive it now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's look. The next day, he decided to leave for Galilee. Jesus found Philip and told him, Follow me. Now, Philip was from Bethsaida. The hometown of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathaniel and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law. And so did the prophets. Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. And look at the answer of Nathaniel. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Nathaniel asked. And Philip said, Come and see. Some people have judged you because you come from that tribe, because you are black, because you come from that village, because you come from that part of the town, because you are a northerner, because you are this, because you are that. Can any good thing come out of your life? The money judgment was pronounced. Jesus came out from Nazareth and Nathaniel said, can anything, we have checked the history, nothing good has ever come from this town. Can any good thing come out of that? And you are going on suffering because anytime you say you are from this place, disqualify you immediately. Anytime you are saying I'm from this side of the con country, they disqualify you. Anytime you say you are from this place, they disqualify you immediately because they have judged you. They have judged your generation. They have judged your people. They have judged your tribe. They have judged where you come from. They say you are Ewe. They say you are Ashanti. They say you are Gan. They say you are uh, from Nottana. And there is no good thing that can come out of that. They say you are a Nigerian. They say you are a Ghanaian. They say you are black. They say you are Arab. They say you are Asian. Can any good thing come out of Chinese? There's some Chinese that are suffering. They are good people, but they are suffering today because immediately you see Chinese, say Chinese are like this, Chinese are like that. There are some people that are bent. My child has not married from this place. Can any good thing come out of them? They must not marry Nigerian. They must not marry Ghanaians. They must not marry this tribe. They must not marry that tribe. They judge the matter without fair trial. Bible says, judge nothing that are in process. Judge nothing be prematurely. Judge nothing prematurely. Judge nothing prematurely. Nathaniel did not just see, he did not wait to see Jesus before he pronounced judgment. He said, can any good thing ever come out of Nazareth? They will see this year. As Philip answered Nathaniel, they will see concerning your family. They will see concerning your tribe. They will see concerning your nation. They will see concerning where you come from. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will see concerning your life. Those who have been doubting. 
I judge you. They are judge your tribe. They are judge your family. They are judge you. That's why I say. He said, "Can any good thing come out of Nazareth?" And he said, "Come and see." People will see what God will do in your life this year. They will be forced to swallow their word. They will eat their word. They will eat their word towards you. They will eat their word towards your tribe. They will eat their word towards your nation. They will eat your word towards your status. They have judged you because you are fear. Some people say, I can never date a fear colored girl because most of them are like I share what people chase them a lot. If you marry, I know somebody said the reason why I cannot marry a fear colored person is that many people will be sleeping with her with me. You will attract many people. How can you place demonic judgment on somebody just like that? If you are like this, they judge you. If you are like that, they judge you. They judge your tribe. They judge your height. They judge your people. They judge your color. They judge your education. They judge your status. They judge your nationality. They judge your profession. They judge your tender gender. They even judge your temperament. Makalabusa. I give you power of the law to win over this judgment. Receive the power from Jehovah. Receive the power from Jesus Christ. Receive the power from God to win over this situation. 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 Receive the power of the Lord. Receive the power of the Lord. Receive the anointing of the Lord. Receive the power of Jehovah. Receive the anointing of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Those who are questioning you. Questioning your tribe. That can any good thing come out of them. Can any good thing come out of your life. You will end up being their savior. They will come back to beg you for life. They will come back to beg you to leave. People have write you off. People have condemned you. They have judged you prematurely. Thinking that you can never amount to anything. I tell you, as the Lord turn around your situation, they will come down on their knee. They will come back 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 on their knee. Back on their knee. Say you, we are sorry. We didn't know this is how your life will turn around. We didn't know this is how your life will turn around. This is how your situation will turn around. This is how your marriage will turn around. We thought there is nothing good in you. We thought there is nothing good that can come out of you. But God will surprise them. By the reason of what he will do for you. The Almighty will surprise them. Jehovah will surprise them. Jehovah will use your life to surprise them. Jehovah you will use your life to surprise them. If you believe it, shout a thunderous amen. Come and see. Nathanael judgment is a typical example of demolish judgment of a person, people, and places. It's a typical example of judgment of a person, people, and places. Nazareth. Can any good thing ever come out of that place? Messiah. How much more Messiah? Messiah is the highest of it. Why will he come out from a country, a city like that? Nazareth. Rome is there. Judah is there. Better places. Jordan is there. Better places are there. Nazareth. That cursed city. How can Messiah come out of it? Jesus came to shock people. Your story will shock people. <laughs> I'm speaking to someone who listening to me right now. The Bible said when the Lord turned around the captivities of Zion, they are like they that dream dream. Your story will shock people. Your story will shock people. Your story will shock people. Your story will shock your enemy. Your story will shock those who have judged you. Your story will shock those who have judged you. Your story will shock those who have judged you. Your story will shock those who have judged you. Your story will shock those who have judged you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kalabusa. Libra Katayaba. Legelebosi Niriyababa. It is ungodly to judge person without fair trial. And giving your heart chance to prove him or myself. Sometimes, middle say, where does it come from? Oh, it's from this place. Oh, no. No. 
I used to tell people, don't generalize things. Treat case on, in, in, on uh, uh, individually. The fact that I'm a Nigerian that commit this crime does not mean that all Nigerians are like that. The fact that I'm a Yoruba and I behave this way does not mean that all Yoruba are like this. Some people will look at me and say, ah, you don't behave like a Yoruba person. I say, how do you like Yoruba people behave? He said, they like one bear. I said, that's to shock you that everybody can be the same. Yeah, I don't like party. I don't like dancing. The only dance I dance is in the house of God and I have my style of dancing. That's all. After a year, you can't find me dancing anywhere again. And they say, all oh, Yoruba like dancing. Have I not destroyed your neuroscience? Have I not destroyed your systemic conclusion? Have I not destroyed your logic? So don't, you know, the cognition, the cognitive process which you derive your decision is failed. Your system has failed. When you use me as a case study, your case will fail. That's why the Bible said, don't generalize. Don't judge all people. Don't judge things before their time. Give everybody fair trial. Give everybody a chance to prove themselves. Don't just pass demonic judgment on them because of where they come from. Their height, their education. There are a lot of beautiful, educated women who are submissive. And there are a lot of illiterates who cannot write zero with a bottle. That are very proud and destructive. So don't conclude. Don't conclude. Don't go on passing judgment on anybody. I'm warning you here. Don't judge people. Those that gather together and begin to judge people. Stop judging people. Judge nothing before time. Judge nothing prematurely. Don't be like Nathaniel. That say, can any good thing come out? You will shock the world. In the name of Jesus. Let me close with this. What Disney was fired from Kansas City Star because his editor felt he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. What Disney? What Disney? Disneyland, Disney cartoon, the man that ended up being a very great person when it comes to that. He was fired that his, his, his editor told him that he lacked imagination and had no good idea. And that's why he was fired. If you're a lover of movie, you will know Harrison Ford. He has done many fantastic movies. Do you know that when he first appeared in a movie, well, this is what they told him. Harrison Ford was told by an executive that he would never succeed in the movie business after his first small movie role. They gave him small role to play and when he played the role, they said, ah, you, you can never succeed. In the movie room. One of the great scientists, when he presented the earlier on, he said, he said, one of the, uh, I'll get his name in my book, he said, somebody was told him that, he said, you want to be a writer, you can never succeed in being a writer. You have to be a driver, truck driver. <laughs> Look at past judgment. The fact that you fail once does not mean that you go to fail all your life. There are people who are not brilliant in primary school, who are not brilliant in secondary school, who are not even brilliant in university. But when they finish, they start getting brilliant in life. That those who are taking first class before, they are now working under them. Stop judging people. Everybody have their time. That's why judge. Don't judge anything before time. Wait till they finish their life. They didn't. Wait till they, you are, they are reading their obituary before you commit. If I'm still alive, I'm still a working process. I may not have it in the morning. I may not have it in the afternoon. Maybe I'll get it in the evening. Don't judge me. Don't conclude I'm useless. Don't conclude I'm nobody. Don't conclude I'm ordinary. I may be ordinary today, but tomorrow I may be extraordinary. I may be nobody today, but tomorrow I may be somebody. I may be nothing today, but tomorrow I may be something. Don't judge me before time. Give me time to prove myself. I'm still breathing. I'm still alive. I can still make different. Kentucky fries shaking. Alexander. He failed all his life. It was at retirement he started uh, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And he became a millionaire at 80s. In his 80s. He failed wow, from the beginning. But in his 80s, he became a multi millionaire. If not, billionaire, sir. So judge nothing before time. I'm concluding with this. There's a popular clip they normally play in TV. President Akufuado will come on stage. Why he was addressing the GSS student and SS, Akudo, Akufuado graduates. Why he was addressing them, he said to them, 
They said to me, I am too short. I cannot be a president of Ghana because I am short. I am too short. He's too short. He cannot be a president of Ghana. He said, but today, I am their president. I am the president over those people who say I am short. I cannot be a president. Rise on your feet. Who say you will not become somebody? Who say you are too stupid to learn anything? Who said you should be a truck driver? Who said that you cannot succeed in that thing? Who have judged you? Father, give me power to win over demonic judgment over my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Father, give me power to win. Kalabosa, Kilia Kalaba, Rekete Kete, Maderianda Rabasende, Ipro Kotokuri Andaha, Lepra Kataya Baba, receive the grace. Ask for grace, ask for power. Ask for grace, ask for power. To win over this issue of life, to win over demonic judgment that have been passed over you. If you want to win, ask God to give you grace. Open your mouth, pray with all your heart, pray with all your mind. Father, give me the power, give me the grace, give me the anointing to win over demonic judgment that is in operation in my life. Where I have been judged wrongly, give me power to win over them. Where I have been judged wrongly, give me power to win over them. Where I have been judged wrongly, O oh Lord. Where I have been condemned, O oh Lord. Where I have been zero out of my glory. Hey, where I have been, O oh Lord. Where they have disqualified me because of my color, because of my status, because of my nationality, because of my height, because of my education. Where I have been disqualified, Father, qualify me. Father, qualify me. Father, qualify me. Father, qualify me. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Where I have been short, listen, short change in life. Where I have been short change in life because of my color, because of my nationality, because of my race. Demonic judgment that is in operation in my life. Father, give me grace to win over them today. Give me the grace, give me the grace, give me the grace to win over them, to win over them, to win over them, to win over them. Kalabal, Lebro, Sakataya, Leke Tekete, Libra Kanderebo, Libra Kayaha, Likataya Baha, Leke Tekete, Marenderebo, receive the grace to win over them. I pray for you, I pray for you, receive the grace, receive the anointing to win over that situation, to win over that demonic judgment. Receive it now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to thank God. We bless you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Blessed be the name, Lord. Blessed be the name, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Continue praying this prayer. Don't stop right here. Continue praying the whole of the week and your life will not be the same. Say after me. And now, may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing that we may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. When I say don't give up, tell your neighbor that so for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. God bless you and see you the same time next week.